All right, well, we're obviously continuing to work through and, and uh, try to maximize the, the opportunities we have here for camp. And, and uh, I think all along, we've said to, kind of felt this every day. I've appreciated the way the guys are approaching it. And we just got to make sure we do all we can to take advantage of, you know, not unlimited opportunities. So just a lot to get ready for. And, and, uh, and that's the good part of camp and, and want to keep going. Do you have a better feel at this point uh, how your passing game is coming along and your your player, your quarterbacks? I know it's dependent on other people. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think that we're in camp and we're you – know, there's times when you feel like we're, we are making progress. And then there's there's times where, like, we gotta we got to take advantage of this camp because it's not, not where you want to be. And, um, you know, that, that applies to the passing game. It also applies – Thing, everything we're doing, you know, but uh, yeah, there's moments, but but I think we should, we've not uh, not where we want to be yet. Well, how would you assess where you're at, kind of evaluating where the offensive line is and getting where you need to be? Yeah, I think um, kind of along those same lines, and you know, like what they're doing, and and uh, guys are working at it, and yeah, we gotta we gotta keep going. You know, there's that consistency you're looking for, and uh, and there's been times and and. You just gotta keep, keep working. You know, we haven't seen every practice, but Chez had the one run today. Mm -hmm. Has he continued to make progress? Have you seen growth? Are yeah. he's getting back to where he was before the injury? Without a doubt, you know. And uh, credit to him and and really everyone. Those uh, those processes of coming back. Um, a lot of people involved in that, and and he's been. Uh, we've been able to, I think, have a seems to be a good schedule for him right now and and when he goes he's he's going and um, and I think you know there's so many each guy that when he comes back from it, an injury or missing some time you know there's a lot to progress through and I think you know each day there's kind of a, a hurdle that he's cleared you know one just I remember the first time he got a, a rep and you think back to last time he played in a football play with Rutgers you know and then it's how can I do it again? And then, um, you know, chance where you're in the hole and you, know, you get thudded up. You know, so it's the first time he's done. Right? I mean, those are all I think real, um, real hurdles that guys have to overcome. And uh, but I've loved his approach, and it's been knock on wood to this point, it's been going well. Last year, when you guys had that winning streak, you were able to use Braille and, and Chez and, and run the ball. If that's the case this year, how do you want to get a guy like Garendo involved, who obviously? If you get him in space, can right. can do something. Well, I think you know that's uh, you feel good. I've loved the way they've all approached it to this point, and um, and I think that you know you hope it continues to go that way. So it is a little bit different than even what we had last year, because you know Isaac's more than just a uh, just a speed guy. I think he's it's been fun. You know, last year I f he was coming into it, really truly feeling and understanding the position. And uh, again, I give him credit for, you know, he's missed a lot of time, but came back and, and is, it's, it seems like it's been really uh, smooth for him. You know, come back and it's not like he's trying to figure out kind of the, the little things of playing the position. So it's, uh, that room's been a good room. So when you say he's more the speed guy, you think he got better running between the tackles? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. You know, that all around pass protection, um, Route running, I think they're, like the whole group's been doing a good job of trying to be, uh, you know, doing it all, not just okay. I'm gonna be this, and, and they all. I think they have got more knowledge right now. You know, this is for Chez. You know, last year was learning a whole new offense, and and Bray was learning a lot, and, and you know Isaac was. You know, you guys know he kind of bounced around positions, and so it's. Um, I, I've loved where they started and kind of how they've been progressing in camp. Alex, how have you seen Ricardo Hallman get more reps at the first team corner? What have you seen out of him? Where do you think the next steps are for him? Yeah, I think Rico's been playing, you know, and and, uh, and that's obvious, right? We're in camp, but but I mean, as far as knows what he's doing, and, and they're still learning, but uh, where he's he's looks like he's out there and he's truly playing. And I think there's been a really again that room. I think you know Hank and and Jimmy have done a really good job with the whole secondary, and, and there's really good. Uh, competition, but there's great leadership, and they're they're helping each other, and so I think all of them are um, kind of pushing each other, and and 
and that's been good. And, and certainly Rico is, I feel like he's getting better and, and getting more comfortable, and, and therefore that leads to kind of being able to play. And you, obviously you've been here a while, both as a coordinator, head coach, outside linebacker, this group, do you see when you look at the group overall? I know we, everybody writes about Nick right. and talks about Nick, but what about the depth there overall? Yeah, I've I've loved what what you know Bobby has done with that group, and and certainly uh, you know Nick right now he's he's the leader of that group. But there's there's a great approach and work ethic and love of the game mm -hmm. in that room, and uh, and again I think they they will push, and, and like I said, Bobby does a tremendous job, and and uh, there is never an off day for him, and and yeah they. The ball goes down, you get between the lines. That group loves playing the game, and it, it's um, each guy's getting better. You know, CJ's been around the longest, but he's you still see him getting better and, and where things and really top to bottom of that group. It's a, it's a fun group to be around. It's a fun group to watch. You know, just you go from the first individual to the last play of practice or post practice, they're working, and, and it's uh, they, they give this team a lot of energy. Uh, Paul. With Clay coming back from that leg injury mm -hmm. and being fully cleared in summer, has he had to be on a pitch count at all in terms of reps during camp when the pads have been on, and just how has he progressed? Yeah, you know, you try to, with everyone, there's there's a balance to to everything. And kind of what we were talking about with Chez, you know, uh, Clay's going through the same thing, you know, and, and yet I've, I've liked it and the work that he put in, you know, all off season and really last season, off season, Summer, I think it's kind of building up, and, and so you're, you're, you're always going to be conscious of, of the work. But one thing that, that I appreciate from these guys is they they want to go, and they, they value the those those reps, those opportunities. And not every rep is going to be perfect, and, and yet, you know, nothing better than to be able to come back and can I, can I be a little bit better with it? And then something happens a little bit different. And so uh, appreciate his approach, and, and it's been good. I'll let Bordellini go off. If he is out for a little bit of time, what will you guys have to, what does he bring you that you will have to compensate for if he's not available? For yeah, you know, I don't uh, obviously know they left, yeah. and, and so yeah. um, Bort's a really good football player, you, you know, and, and so uh, hopefully, you know, get news and, and kind of see where that's at. With Jack Van Dyke, we haven't seen him place kick here in camp yet so far. Do you see his future here as a punter, or how do you kind of see his role going forward? Kicking, you know, he's and he is. He's athletic, and um, you know, he's been. He, it's kind of fun as he's, he's working on punting, he's kicking, um, kickoffs, you know. So you're right, not as a, like field goals right now, but uh, he is an athletic guy, and and, uh, and so I think it is kicking. <laughs>